Ooh, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Welcome back to my channel. So today is a beautiful day because I have a new shade in the Laura Mercier powder. This powder is definitely one of my favorites. I have loved it for years. When the deeper shade came out, this one right here, I was so excited. I remember the first video I watched, the first tutorial, the first review, it was Iris and I loved her review. I went ahead and bought it immediately and I've been in love ever since. When I saw they were coming out with this new shade, I could not help but be excited and really want to try it out and see how it works. This brown shade is perfect for my entire face, but I've always found that it's a little bit too, like just a bit too deep to brighten under my eye when I'm doing an everyday look I put it everywhere but if I want something that's brightening under my eye I feel like it was a little bit too deep and then the translucent was a little bit too light for under my eyes so I was thinking this would be the perfect shade for under my eye because it was not gonna be too light it had a little hint of yellow in there so yeah I'm excited to share with you guys I did do a tutorial on my entire face so you guys will see that so I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below click the little bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video anyways let's get into the video all right girls I'm gonna start out with primer as usual I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier pure canvas primer and this one does help with a little bit of oil control but also it does help blur out your skin with a little bit up here because I already did my brows and I put concealer on top because they were looking kind of thick they're still looking kind of thick but they were looking real thick I don't know what I was thinking but um yeah, so well, let me just put this on. This is a great primer if you have oily skin and also if you want to just help blur out your pores. It's really good. So, ooh, next we're going to go into the powder. I'm so excited. So this is the new Laura Mercier powder. I am so excited. I'll show you it next to the brown one so you can see the difference in color. I think this is gonna be really perfect for under my eyes, so I cannot wait. All right, so these are the two powders side by side. You can definitely tell there's a huge difference in color. And yeah, I definitely cannot wait to try it. Usually with the brown powder, I do set my face with it to just help control oil. And I'm gonna try doing this with this powder as well, just to see how it would work for that purpose. I just put some in the cap right here. Their translucent powder is just a little too light for me to use for this purpose. So I'm gonna try this one to see how it works under my foundation. These are all technically translucent powders, but with the different tints, they do give you slightly different effects. So it's not gonna like really show up like a, like a foundation, but it's definitely gonna help give you a slight tint. And the brown one does not brighten under my eye, but I love it for my face because it's just the perfect shade for my face. So I'm really hoping that this shade is gonna be perfect for like under my eyes and like brightening my face. For foundation today, I'm gonna use my Milani foundation. It looks so dirty, but I love this foundation. So that's what I'm gonna use today. Okay, so we're just gonna blend this. into my forehead I'm literally almost out of this foundation <laughs> I can't believe I used so much of this foundation like wow let me try opening oh there's a lot in here you guys like it's just stuck for some reason but there's definitely a lot of foundation in here Okay, so foundation is done. I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer. I'm using this NARS one. This is in the shade Caramel. And I'm just going to put this under my eye. I thought I had this in a Monday for some reason. Oh, interesting. I always do two concealers because I just feel like it gives you a, such a better look than just doing one. Usually I use a concealer that's closer to my skin tone for this first part. But for some reason I thought this was a different shade but it's okay. And then I'm gonna blend this in. Then I'm gonna use my Born This Way from Too Faced and this one is in the shade Mocha. And I'm gonna just put this one under here. I'm using a very generous amount. <laughs> now this concealer, I love. I love this concealer so much. Definitely is my favorite. I also love how much you get. It's like supposed to be like a pro sculpting product, 
but honestly like i think everyone just uses as concealer because it's just so perfect like it's it's amazing so this one and then i'm gonna use this one which is a deeper shade in the same one just to contour a little bit on my forehead and then up here everywhere you know we gotta get snatched okay um i'm not going anywhere girl but you know what it's okay so i'm gonna blend this out with this little brush first i like to just blend with small brushes at first just because it gives you more control and then that way you don't get messed up because you don't want to get messed up with contour Then I'm going to take this sponge and blend out, ooh, <laughs> blend out this part. I didn't expect so much to be there. I'm just blending it into the contour just to help, like, smooth everything out together. Like a nice gradient. <laughs> Okay, so we're all blended. It is time to try out the powder. I cannot wait, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. This powder is a very, very light yellow, by the way. So, ooh, she's giving bright. Do we like her? I'm gonna do the other side. I am trying to decide what I feel about this powder because, okay, wait. One second. First of all, I love the formula. Like, I, hands down, this is my favorite powder formula. Like, the formula is not even a question for me. It's amazing. I'm just looking at the color and seeing, like, you know, how I feel about the color. I'm going to do the center of my forehead as well. Okay, so, like, here, I love it up here. Oh, my gosh, I love it on my forehead. I think I shouldn't have used the Carmel Concealer under the Too Faced one because I think it just made my under eye light already so adding the powder just really brightens it a lot more than i usually do but i do love it oh my gosh wait i love it i think i like this a lot i'm actually going to spray my face real quick it's just with setting spray just to see like the true color because right now it's looking powdery you can't really see how it's really gonna look so i spray my face to just get a better idea of the powder's color Oh yeah, yeah, this is really good. This is nice, I like this. This is just the right amount of brightness before it goes overboard for me. Like, I really, really love this. It's like the perfect amount of brightness without being too bright. I'm gonna do some contour so you guys can see contrast in my face. My face looks kind of like weird without contour. Um, So I'm gonna use, well, bronzer. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Silbury bronzer today. And just add that to my face because my face looks kind of weird when it's not bronzed. Laura Mercier powder is something that's been a part of my makeup routine for literally like a long time. I want to say like six years. And I used the brown shade. Ever since it came out, I've been using the brown shade. I'm going to try using the brown shade the way I usually use it. And then using this one in the center to see how I feel about that combo i wasn't sure how yellow it was going to be and it's actually not super yellow at all it looks like there's a hint of like a mellow yellow you know i'm going to take the brown powder this is the same little mercia powder in the brown shade i'm going to put this under here to just help you know carve it out i think i'm going to try mixing these two powders together because i think that concoction would be amazing. I'm gonna use a little bit more yellow powder. If you've tried the Beauty Bakery yellow powder, this color is pretty much the same shade as that powder. We baking or nah? I think I love it. I have decided that I love it. I really do. I'm gonna dust this off, but I want to do my lips first. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. I'm gonna use my KKW um, lip liner just because it's right in front of me and I do like this color. This is number 
number two, nude two. I'm going to use Patrick Ta's lipstick in Oh, She's Single. Oh, she needs a lip gloss. I'm just going to use Fussy from Fenty to top this off. This is the baby version of Fussy. Uh, all the way on the floor. I'm going to use mascara. <laughs> it was on the floor. I don't know why, but it was. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me just dust off my face first. All right, one more spray. I'm gonna press that in. All right, girl, so this is the final look with the powder. I went to my bathroom mirror because that's my trustworthy mirror that always tells me exactly how I look. And I definitely love the finish of this powder. First of all, the formula is no question for me. Like I said earlier, I love the Laura Mercier powder formula. The size of the little powders and just the way it lays on the skin is just literally my favorite. So that's not even a question for me. Like I already knew this, hands down, it's bomb. It was more so the shade and like how it was gonna work with my skin tone. And honestly, I love it. I think it's really beautiful if I want something that's brightening. This is a beautiful shade for that. The more it warms up to my skin, like being on my skin I feel like the more I'm loving it like it just looks so beautiful I'm looking at a viewfinder right now and I'm like I like this if you're looking for a nice soft yellow under eye powder this is definitely it for you because first of all the, we know the formula is bomb it's Laura Mercier powder like they Laura Mercier is literally the goat in setting powder it's my favorite when it comes to formula and trustworthiness like I really trust that powder especially for my skin type like if you have oily combo skin this powder is definitely really good for that I'm so happy to have a new color in my little Laura Mercier squad so yeah thank y'all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content because I do upload every week and I'll see you guys in my next video bye